This podcast is sponsored by eBay Canada. eBay Canada is here to help. They've been supporting Canadian small business retailers for 25 years and have recently launched their up and running program to meet an urgent need to get business online today. New business sellers can get a free e-commerce store for 90 days when they visit ebay.ca slash up and running. It's Toronto's podcast on the Canada's Podcast Network. Hi, this is Sandra St. Mars from Canada's Podcast. Uh, today I'm with Molly Sanders, creator of the Beyond Food program. So thanks, Molly, for being here with us today. Yeah, thanks so much for having me on. This is great. Awesome. So let's start this off with you telling us how you came to be an entrepreneur and where you're at now with your business. Great. Um, so it's a good question, actually. Um, I think my journey to entrepreneurship kind of um, it was pretty organic, but I think that at some point um, after I moved to Canada, I was like, I really want to make a big difference in the wellness industry. And I didn't really see how to do that um, working for someone else. And so I was like, well, okay, this is it. I'm going to, I'm going to be the employer. <laughs> I'm going to be the one. Um, and so I think that's really it at the end of the day. This is the way that I saw I could make the biggest impact. And so far it seems to be working. Great. So tell us about the Beyond Food program. Yeah. So, um, the Beyond Food program is the, my flagship program of my company, uh, Get Real to Heal. And it kind of serves two functions. Um, one, it helps either groups or individuals to, um, almost unlearn a lot of the crap that we pick up through diet culture um, and understand really how to put together a, a way of eating that makes sense for their body, their lifestyle, their goals, but a, a really custom way to approach nutrition. Um, and the other thing it does is it's actually a really great platform for other nutritionists and practitioners um, to, to help clients because a lot of, that's a big challenge for nutritionists. A lot of the time right out of school is how do I actually help someone and help them see results and help them be successful and help myself be successful. And it's really useful to have a structured program. So that's essentially what it does. So not only you serve customers, but you also serve practitioners to help them get started. Exactly. Exactly. Because it's like, that's one of the things that when I started in nutrition school, um, or after nutrition school, rather, it really broke my heart because a lot of people get kind of disillusioned with what it takes to build a practice and to actually help people, coach people through the process of dealing with their food. And so um, I had created this program and I was like, there's no reason why I'm the only person who can use this. And what's your vision now that you have, you know, you have practitioners working with you, working yeah. with their clients, you know, like, where do you see yourself in a couple of years or in the next few months for yourself and for your business? Well, um, I think especially with the last couple of months, what's been happening um, with COVID-19, um, there's been a lot of light shed on I think how we um, how we approach health and uh, the problems that exist there, and uh, I'll speak for Canada. Um, I don't know if you know, but only three percent of our our budgets. I can't remember if that's provincial or or in the country, but only three three percent goes to prevention. But when you look at what it's going to take to um, kind of turn around and really support people's wellness, not just health or like disease management, but their wellness, their quality of life, their ability to live a full life for the longest amount possible, that's going to take a real, a real 180 and having 97% of our budget going towards prevention and a very small percentage going towards, you know, disease management. And so, um, you know, as my team grows, And as my, my company grows, that's 100% what I'm going for, is really teaching people, you know, individually, families, but also at the community level, the country level, teaching people how to overhaul their health and really focus on prevention. That's awesome. That's awesome. And like, since you're 
a nutritional practitioner, you're building this business I, I, and you're an entrepreneur, you know, like you're really running this. So like, what yeah. does a, a day in Molly Sanders looks like to be productive, to do it all, to be able to support all these people? That's a really good question. Um, and, and it's interesting because it's a very different way of living than the nine to five. Um, because I, I think a lot of, um, a lot more of my energy goes towards making sure, um, you know, I'm in a good headspace. You know, I'm in a place where I can be creative. I do a lot of content. So like videos and social media and stuff like that. Um, but it's really hard to get on video when you're feeling like crap about, about yourself or about your business or whatever. So, um, most mornings, you know, I, I work out in the mornings. I recently started running. Um, I drink a lot of water, a lot of tea. Um, but I spend a good amount of time planning my day, um, looking at what are the things that I need to get accomplished? What are the big projects that are going on that I need to make way on? Who are the people I need to get in touch with? Um, but before I do any of my to-do lists, I always start with what do I need? What do I need to have a great day here? And it, it does include, um, you know, like meditating or reading. I'm a big fan of audiobooks, So I listen to an audiobook almost every morning before I start doing any kind of work. And basically I make sure I have like two or three hours to myself in the morning. Um, and that'll usually end up being a great day versus kind of jumping right into work when I wake up, which is really easy to do when you're an entrepreneur and you have your running to-do list constantly in your head. Um, and I still do that sometimes, but, but my great days are when I spend a few hours to myself, on myself. Access eBay's 170 plus million buyers around the world. With eBay Canada, you can stay local, sell global, and power up. That's ebay.ca slash up and running. Offer is open until August the 22nd. And talking about audiobooks, like is there an audiobook that you would like to share with people that you think like this is valuable and it really helps me to kickstart my day? A hundred percent. I have I have two books um, that I'm I would say I'm trying to master this year. Uh, one is You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. Um, And I, I think even if you don't feel like you have anything going on about money, just the way she approaches life and how you, how you approach business is awesome. Um, I probably listened to that book hundreds of times and I always get something new. Um, and the second one is James Clear, um, Atomic Habits. And for anyone who I think um, has big dreams, big goals, in business or otherwise, um, and has kind of started and stopped and started and stopped. It's such an amazing book to um, help you deal with procrastination in a way that's easy, that's simple, that makes sense. Um, and he has this one quote, he says, you don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. And so uh, one of the reasons I love that book is because he's all about making productivity easy and accessible and exciting and something that you don't have to kind of talk yourself into over and over and over again. And I've never really seen anybody um, or read anything that does that. So it's a phenomenal book. And really like productivity and being able to do it all and feel like you can do it all is, you know, the heart of being an entrepreneur. So I can definitely see why it impacts your day-to-day -day life, you know? Totally. And I think, um, especially at the beginning and especially for people who are, uh, small operations where you kind of have to be everything, it's really easy to burn out and it's really easy to, um, work, you know, 60, 80, hundred hour weeks. Um, but then it's like, that's not really why you wanted to be an entrepreneur in the first place, right? There's, there's freedom that comes with being an entrepreneur and being able to work, when you want and where you want. Um, but it, it takes some concerted effort to organize your life in a way where that's actually doable and you're still making money and you're still able to run the company. And so I think for anyone who wants that or who um, is working towards that, that's like a must. That book is a must. 
And talking about like recharging and like moving away from like the risk of, of burning out, um, you know, sometimes we have like places or, you know, restaurants or even like cities we like to go to actually recharge, think about the business. Like you, your, your home is in Toronto, but like where mm -hmm. in the world or where do you like to go to recharge and think about your business and find your creative space? Mm -hmm. I mean, nature is always healing. So um, I think when I'm, when I'm really stuck, um, I, like to, I like to find water. I love being by rivers, but any water is fine. Rivers are my preference where you can hear, hear the water, um, put your feet in um, where it's fresh and clean. But I think there's something about, um, about getting out of the city and out of your space and near something that's, I don't know, powerful. I think rivers are so powerful. Um, that I always come back with an immense amount of clarity. But I think, um, I think another thing is, so I, I'm sure a lot of people are dealing with this right now with the COVID um, and working from home. But it's like when you work, where you eat, where you sleep, where you watch TV, I find that clutters my mind very quickly. So I'm really trying to not work at home and have my home just be its own space. And, you know, I'll try and work outside or um, now that the, the patios are open, work on a patio or something. Um, but when I need to recharge, I, I need to leave my house. It doesn't really matter where, to, where I go, but I need to leave my house. And, um, and, I, and since, since, since I know you, you know, I know that one of the things that the business And the entrepreneur, entrepreneurial life brought to you is being able to work from anywhere. Like what's, mm -hmm. what's your dream about this or what's your vision or why is that so important to you? Well, I think um, I, I'm actually originally from the States and I, I recently um, I actually just <laughs> taught me that I, I can actually work from anywhere. And so um, for me, I've always wanted to like, uh, like travel around the United States, but, but not like for a weekend, not even for a week, because I think it takes, it takes time to experience a place and to start to understand its personality and its nuances that you just can't do in a small amount of time. And so I, I want that freedom. I want to be able to pick up and go somewhere for a month or two months or the summer and um, yeah, get a chance to, to live like the locals do in and um, is to do that first in the United States, but then across the world. That's awesome. Well, and why not? Right. You have one life. Exactly. <laughs> and, and we, we hear it a lot, right? That like what, Like breaking the nine to five, it's very different. Yes, it's a lot of responsibilities, but at the same time, it brings a feeling of freedom that like you can do anything from anywhere as you want, you know? So you're, you're the, the one who decides. Yeah, and I think um, I, I've always been this way where I thought it was so backwards to wait until I'm like in my 60s or whatever and retiring to go and travel the world. I was like, why would I, why would I wait for another 30 years to do that? Um, and, and I always thought that way. So I'm like putting, putting the pieces in, or, in place to be able to do that. Um, and I actually already did it. So, you know, doing that more. That's great. Well, Molly, the interview is always, uh, like always too short and, uh, it's coming close to an end, but like, is there something you'd like to share with people listening about you, about your practice, about something that you learn as an entrepreneur that could make a difference for them? Yeah. Um, I think a couple of things. Number one, you can never have too many mentors. I think I have like a, a running list of 12 to 15 people that when I'm kind of stuck in my, you know, my own head, I can just kind of run through the list. You can never have too many mentors. Um, but I think for people who are starting out, especially, I read a couple of months ago that there's this period between 18 months and three years, which is where I'm at. Um, that's kind of a, a make or break point for a lot of businesses, whether you're brick and mortar or, um, or online. And so for anyone who's in that point, keep going. It'll be totally worth it. Um, and 
I think when I heard that and I, I felt like I was struggling, I was, it gave me comfort. So I was like, oh, this is, this is right. I'm in the right spot. This is totally normal. This is all going to work out. This is the, this is the proven trajectory of business and it's, it's all okay. And it's all awesome. So give yourself some space, mentor up and you'll be fine. Awesome. Well, thanks Molly for, for, for all of your, um, of your openness in this interview and sharing with us, you know, what makes you successful or what works for you and your entrepreneurial lifestyle. Um, and if people want to follow you or want to get in touch with you, like what would be the, what, the best way to do that? Yeah, definitely. Um, so you can find me on Instagram at the real Molly Sanders. Um, and you can also always go to my website, which is www.mygetrealtyheal.com. Wonderful. Well, thanks, Molly, for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. This podcast is sponsored by eBay Canada. eBay Canada is powering Canadian small businesses. Go to ebay.ca slash up and running to open your online shop.